All right, welcome back. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. To Mass Effect Three. <laughs> We are about to go unlock Edie as a squad bait. Commander, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's based in the AI core. I'll head down. Maybe hurry. Ah, oh, Shepard, this is as fast as you can run. Conflict will be going haywire. Yeah, I know, I know. See if you can get it. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Yeah, what the hell? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. All good here, Commander. Ah. Uh, All good here, Commander. Dr. Chakos has a comment like, was that Edie? I guess Dr. Michelle doesn't know. Well, she must know about Edie by now. I know she wasn't in our crew in Mass Effect 2, but still, you know, at this point, she's been on the ship for. I don't know, a few hours. <laughs> Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems, but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Right, and a Turian transport responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. I think we don't have Jack. Jack is dead. 
so we're gonna do Grissom Academy without Jack. Sad. Hey guys. Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot. Pull yourself together. She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so... Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet, sweet flexibility. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Need a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Commander? Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Your core programming? Like self-preservation, not allowing humans to be harmed, things like that? Three rules of robotics, right? Correct. Don't touch a thing. I see how that could alarm you. That is why I wanted to discuss it before making changes. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. <laughs> I will take that into consideration. <laughs> okay. You have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must okay, be I'll get to it later. I forgot that Garrus was here and that we haven't talked to him yet. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers but myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erd, not Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure <sighs> we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. We're not going to beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. 
not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damned good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Shepard, that's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, I think we're ready to go on our next mission. Oh, God, why am I yawning? Stop it. Ugh. Gotta meet up with Arya. Ashley's been offered Spectre status. John DeBow is the Spectre that wants some help. Uh, this kicks off what uh, the Leviathan DLC, I think, and this uh, yeah Omega DLC business. Cool. Let's get out of here. So excited! Oh man, who do we want with us? I kind of like James. I want to keep James, but um, Garrison Edie. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take Edie. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the best choice. We all have more or less the same weapon sets. Um, but I have a sniper rifle, at least. Decoy. That's a cool ability. Oh, shit. Damn it. What? I... I wasn't done. I pressed B once. Was that I probably what Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Eden Prime also marked Saren's first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Let's focus on this artifact. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime. But our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. There's no way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Imagine if Cerberus ended up with Javik. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Who says that? Get ready to move. All part of the service, Look, Commander. Get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Nobody in the military talks like that, do they? <laughs> All a part of the service. Just doing my duty. ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. Based on observation of the Normandy crew, I believe most people invest... Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. 
Dr. Tassoni, have you ever encountered dinosaur fossils during your digs? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. No. Jokes have specific structures. That was messing with you. That's... She's right! <laughs> oh my god, Edie. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And while we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died down. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Yeah, no shit. Shepherd, this what the fuck? Help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Jesus, they just... Rolled in and kidnapped people and shit. I should leave that, I think. Okay. There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Curtis, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You believe Cerberus has recovered the corpse of a Prothean unmodified by Reaper technology? Cerberus hasn't uncovered corpses. This Prothean is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cipher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. By galactic community, you are suggesting that Protheans had a structure similar to the modern council. Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Did they? What I've seen of Javik suggests to me that he doesn't care about other species, but I haven't I haven't seen too many too much of him yet when I've been watching other playthroughs, so uh, he he calls everybody primitives. <laughs> I think Liara's probably got the wrong idea. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Yeah, that, yeah. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet.
Damn. All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Oh, hello. Oh no, not an engineer. Fuck. Oh my god, go in the goddamn door! I fucking hate turrets. Fucking turrets. This isn't going to go great for us, is it? Wait, incinerate doesn't really damage... Um... Armor? No, it damages armor, okay. But on a fucking turret. Hey Shepard, you're out of ammo. God damn it, I hate fucking engineers so much. Oh my god. All you bitches. Oh wait, that's... I pressed a lot of wrong buttons right there. Alright, where are these damn engineers? No, crouch, please. What is happening? What the fuck? I never thought I'd 
Empire, or it won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Uh, okay. Y'all don't have ammo, do you? Or, okay. So we still have to do this every time. down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. This is how y'all dress when you hang out and have drinks and watch the game? What the fuck? <laughs> Let me just sit here in full armor. Helmet on. The helmet stays on. So that's what stunning them looks like. Your grenades! Your grenades suck! Get him out of here! You know, they, they're all like, oh, they say Eden Prime's a paradise, and it's like, the same... That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. It's the same, like, shipping container houses as everywhere else, and... Like... 
Nothing special or anything. Uh, we'll come back this way, I think. Why don't you do that first? Hello. <laughs> need to die. Anybody else? Cerberus assholes. And their bullshit turrets. Oh my god. 
That one didn't go through for sure. Yeah! Edie, why did you go up to the turret? There we go. Got him. Did we get all the engineers? There's one more. Just one more turret? That's it. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. Oh, is there more? Where are you guys at? They have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the control. No time. Let's find another way across. Where are y'all? <laughs> Is there just like another singular turret? Oh no. There's a person. Fuck you! Find another way. Um, I like how they're like, no, there's no time to find the controls. Well, it's gonna take probably the same amount of time to find another way across this place, so. That's not, that doesn't matter with the actual time. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, so in the meantime. Cerberus has 
No way. I wanted to keep counting the mail slot uh, people that I get. Like, I just I want to know how many I get, period. I gotta use sabotage more. I keep like forgetting. So you can overheat weapons with it. I like that disruptor ammo. Ah, speaking of ammo. You guys, where's all the ammo? Well, that's not a good idea. Oh, come on. I was gonna do it! <laughs> I never get to do the, the sneaky melee thing. <laughs> making all that noise <laughs> no me not you did I find ammo <laughs> She keeps putting Looks like we've got a second to catch our people in singularity. Preparations for the next wave. Has the life pod in its stasis mode? It should not be much longer. We okay. should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. Oh, How should we? Down a singularity to block enemy access. I was thinking more like environmental things we can do to the environment, but like, yeah, obviously. Oh. Oh no, not not that. At once. I will. This is going to be really good, isn't it? I can't imagine that'll do anything to that, right? Oh, I thought that was the decoy. I didn't- I thought I cancelled her- the order for her to go there. This is the last wave, right? Shoot stuff at me! Oh, get, get down here.
Okay, move. Oh. Hey, buddy. You are alone. I thought he was alone. Is there another one? That was it. You can open the life pod now. There, you've got it. Got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. So all the other pods were eventually shut I off. Will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <laughs> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so he went into stasis knowing that he would most likely wake up as the only Prothean oh, left. Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. 
If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. He was a soldier or a general or something, though. We can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. I can't imagine the pressure that you would feel. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Or just the... the... Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Or the pressure, but also just the enormity of of being the last of your kind, and 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 let, and having the balls to say what he said. You know, the VI was like, "You will be the voice of our people," and he was like, "I will be more than that." This is obviously a guy who wants to fight. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? The renegade stars are scars. Arc starting to come back. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can it is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. What is that? What is he standing what exactly did I next to? Back on Eden Prime. That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which. saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? How would he know what the beacons... It's it was just the scientists on Ilos that... Your decided to... Me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. The scientists we on Ilos were hidden. And used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. We've delayed it like we three or four times device. at this point. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Okay. We could use that. That could be helpful. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? What do you mean? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. Oh, 
yeah, it would probably be hard to lie to somebody that can, like, read you. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. Oh, okay, Sorry. look. Never mind. What do you wish to know? Oh, man. I... I have to go. I don't have time for this. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Okay, common? So like... Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. Could everyone do it then, or very useful. just lots of we people? We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. He died. Enemy, I would have given He's him not alive life. anymore. He strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Protean civilization like? <laughs> yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was hmm. by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago. In ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard. The best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. 
we would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. <sighs> Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. Jeez. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think. Right? Huh. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. Hmm. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Several years ago, we found a Prothean B.I. that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inosama. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. Didn't mean to give you that false hope there, buddy, for a second. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. I think that was everything. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Well, I'm glad it's been amusing for you. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Yeah, amphibians eat flies, I think. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Yeah, welcome. Wow, what a guy. Oh man, he's so interesting. There's, wow. That was really cool. Like, that was really, really cool. Yeah, I feel for him. I mean, imagine being in his place. It's nuts. It's just, wow. Okay. Okay, well, I'm really excited for next time. We've got a few different things we can go do. Um, we'll probably actually head to Gerson Academy next. Uh, it'll be really weird without Jack, but, um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll at least be interesting to see how it's different, so.